Uh, good morning, this is Chad here from Coyote, and today we're gonna be talking about vacuum, how to get inner and outer bag vacuum off a single pipe. Uh, this is a recent question we had via the internet, I wanna say YouTube, so today we're gonna do a quick little demonstration on how we get an inner bag to vacuum up, proceed with our lamination layup, and then get outer vacuum bag. Uh, so, for example, here are our typical vacuum stands here at Coyote. Now what we have here is we have a lower vacuum hole and an upper vacuum hole. As demonstrated here, you can see they're already covered up with vacuum nylon, so we can get vacuum without sucking the bag into the hole. And for the purposes of our demonstration today, we're going to be using just the standard garbage bag. So this is just a mold I pulled out. It's got one vacuum stocking out on it. So for our first vacuum bag, the inner bag, we will pull down to essentially the first set of vacuum holes, get vacuum. We'll do our quick little tie off here. So the first one is getting the vacuum through the upper holes. Now, the lower holes are still getting vacuum and they are open, but that still allows enough vacuum to draw down, to suck down our first PVA bag. Now, purposes for demonstration, typically we do our composites and our nylons and all this and that. Today, we're just gonna be pulling another vacuum nylon as that will be our layup today. Uh, and our composite would typically be cut off right at the proximal end of our socket, but uh, today, we're, again, we're just using a vacuum nylon. And sometimes I'll do a little felt ring just to absorb any resin that goes below. So we do our standard layup out here is a two, two, two. And then for our outer vacuum bag, which would be tied into one of our, we call these bird cages. Uh, we tie it up here and then we can dip our resin in. Today we're just gonna demonstrate how we get our outer vacuum bag. So the first one has the vacuum in it currently. Then we've got our lamination and then we pull our second one and we just drop below our second vacuum line here. Do our tie off as we would standard, cut our bag, and then overlap. And now, as you can see, we're definitely getting vacuum on both the inner and outer bag. Uh, there's a lot of different systems out there. This is one we find at Coyote that works very well for us. And that's how we do our inner and outer bags here at Coyote. 